All right. So hi, everyone. Uh, we are live on Facebook and, and welcome to the stream. All right, at the moment, we don't have anyone in the call, but that's okay because what we are doing here is like just a sort of casual chat amongst ourselves yeah, just to learn more about our CCA and all that, all that jazz, okay? All right, so um, I have with me, uh, oh, sorry, for, forgot, I'm getting ahead of myself, forgot to introduce myself. My name is Iram, and I'm the current president of NUS Electronic Music Lab, or as a lot of people like to call us, EML. So, um, yeah. Um, next, could I call? I'm just going down the order there. Can I call on Aisha? Could you introduce oh, yes. yourself? Hi, my name is Aisha and I am EML secretary. Uh, nice to meet everybody. All right, uh, next down the line is Sean. Hello, I'm Sean. I am EML's vice president. Hmm. All right, uh, next down the line, Eugene. Hi, I'm Eugene. I'm uh, publicity head of EML. All right, uh, lastly, we have Huishen. Uh, hi, I'm Hui Xian, the treasurer and logistic of EML. All right. So yeah, thanks everyone. So um, oh, that's that's everyone. Uh, okay. At the moment, we still don't have people in the chat. All right. So but it's okay because um because the whole idea of us doing this uh, live on Facebook and having it recorded and all that is so that we have some sort of a record of all our Q and A discussions, lah. So what are we we're just gonna talk about our CCA. It's kind of like a podcast kind of thing where we just get together, chill, and talk, like like relive fond memories or talk about like the new events that we have coming up, uh, all the fun stuff that we have. So um, just so uh, everyone knows, like just this is, this will be going up on our social media channels. So um, right now there's no one here. So we will just be continuously announcing that should anyone uh, come into our room. So, okay, I'm just going to turn off the slides here for the moment so that we will all appear on the center of the screen. Ha, ah, okay, uh, give me a second. Ah, gallery view, okay, that's how it works. Okay, so, um, okay, I have a really fancy script right here. Like, uh, it's just to talk about, like, uh, who we are. But, I mean, I'm not going to follow that down to the T, right? So, um, let's just talk a little bit about who we are. Okay, like, because people always come up, like, in our usual um, student life fair kind of thing, people sometimes ask us, oh, who are you? Like, what is EML? What does EML stand for? What do we do? Okay, um, who we are, uh, or what we are, uh, we are a performance group. Um, in that operates under uh, the NUS Center for the Arts, also known as CFA. Um, as our name suggests, Electronic Music Lab, we produce original electronic music and we also make remixes. Uh, we perform our electronic music productions and remixes and um, we do this like in li various of the live events and settings that happen throughout the year. Um, and, we, and, we, and we all do so... Um, and we all do so as sort of a collective of artists that really enjoy this art form of creating electronic music. So um, electronic music can be something that's very esoteric and like because there's not a lot of formal platforms which you can use to learn. This is where EML becomes something very unique because we are taught and guided by our principal tutor, Mr. Benjamin Ang, who is one of only two certified Ableton trainers in Singapore. Ooh. Yeah, there's only two of them. He's one of them and he teaches us. Boss. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um, and what we really pride ourselves in is that um, whether we are like a senior, an alumnus, or a fellow members, we all always help each other in the music making process. Uh, we are a community of electronic music loving people. We love to listen to it. We love to make it. We love to perform it. And we also like to collaborate with other groups. Um, sometimes we make the soundtracks for other groups. Sometimes we do like dance numbers. Like we, we do the music for their dance um, events. And sometimes we do sound design and all that. Okay. Yeah. So um, I think before we go on to the rest of the FAQ, like right now, I, I don't want it to be like very systematic down, I like go down the list kind of thing. It's very long and dreary and boring. So um, I just like to ask you all, like so far, like what, is your favorite memory so far in EML? I mean, right now we are the exco, but we were also members at some point. So, what was your favorite memory in the year that we have been part of this CCA? I think that um, being in EML has kind of shown me that as long as you have the passion to like passion for music the passion to create, the, the passion to constantly improve uh, and to also be open to other forms of music that, that your other friends are making or, you know, thinking of making. 
as long as you have that passion, you will be, you will always find yourself on the right track of like, you know, making sure that there are the people around you to tell you like, oh yeah, you can also, you can do this, you can do that. You do ensure that there is that community around you. You don't have to try so hard. All you have to do is just love what you do. And like, that's been my experience as a member and it's. Yeah, that's really, really well put. Thank you, Aisha. Um, maybe next down the line, we just go down the same line as just now. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, is that me? Yeah, it's me, then you, then. You, then, then, then. Yeah, okay. Sean? Nice. Uh, okay, I would have to say, um, first of all, 100% agree with what Aisha has said. Um, if I had to pick like one like event or moment, I would say the most memorable to me is probably Omniverse last year. So to give a bit of context, Omniverse is our annual concert. So we showcase our members' music and they get to perform it live. And so what happened last year was... Uh, the performance was held in U-Town in, I believe, the dance atelier or studio uh, on level three of SRC. And it was just like, I, I was just really blown away. Uh, I mean, it, it was really like I the first time that I've seen so many electronic acts in one space. And these are all our members. You know, they're also, they're, they're anywhere students. And this is their original music that they're performing. And it was just done up so nicely. The atmosphere and everything was was fantastic. Like the stage was amazing. There was the, the lights and and also all the decorations and everything. And the, the program was also really smooth. All the music was fantastic. And yeah, so I thought that was really inspiring. And I was just like, wow, this is, this is amazing. Like what, what EML has, has put together. And that was when, um, yeah, like when I first joined as, um, with, with most of us here in this call as well. Yeah. So I would say Omniverse. Yeah. Uh, don't cry, Sean, don't cry. Yeah, don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> Yeah, all, all very, very happy memories from last year. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, that's what Sean said is really very is really very true. Like um the the like the performances that um we put up, I mean like we have put up in the past and that we also have planned. Um this year is all online, but um yeah, we we have some cool stuff in store, like stay tuned. But yeah, all those performances we always try to find a very like we try to find a very uh, unique way of presenting ourselves because electronic music in, is in itself something that's very different from uh, perhaps like classic, more classical styles or more traditional styles, like even maybe playing guitar, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so we really try to make it a really fun experience each time, no matter what the medium is. Um, okay, uh, next down, uh, Eugene, could you tell us like your favorite moment so far? My favorite moment, what I liked the most was Omniverse, just like what Sean said, because I didn't really like perform, but I contributed for my vis the visuals of the artist. And even though I had to leave early that day, but wow, I really enjoyed it. And like, mm. yeah, I, I can't, I like, I don't know how to explain, but you know. Don't cry, you didn't watch yeah, Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I bet you guys all enjoyed Omniverse. Mm, yeah. But, um, what I enjoyed the most, other than Omniverse, was the weekly sessions we used, we have. Like, it used to be offline, like, face-to-face, -face, but now, like, halfway it turned onto yeah. Zoom sessions, right? Doesn't mean, like, I don't like the Zoom sessions, but it's kind of sad that we lost our opportunity to, like, meet up mm. for lunch after that, and so, yeah. yeah. I like that, like, like, interactions between the members and, like, sharing mm. of the ideas and could listen to their, like, you know, drafts of musics and like different genres. Yeah, so it was kind of eye-opening kind of experience. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, so basically like, I think all of us here would like agree that the community in EML is pretty much the most, like the just the, the, the most valuable part for every member, like in their experience when uh, in EML. So it's just a sense of community. It really doesn't matter whether someone has been producing electronic music for 10 years or maybe just one month or maybe one week. Like the community that we have is such that we are always very open to new ideas and we are open to sharing. We are open to receiving new ideas. And it's really something that we are very proud of because um, we really create a very safe, nurturing environment for everyone to grow as an artist, regardless of experience. Like. Honestly, um, I personally have had 10 years of uh, electronic, making, electronic music making experience and yet every week that I am with my friends and with Ben in like maybe, I mean, perhaps it's a physical classroom lesson or like in our studio or perhaps it's a Zoom call, I walk away with something new. 
So it's really that kind of environment. We always, everyone has something to offer. Everyone has something uh, to take, to walk away with. Yeah, so uh, lastly, can I go to Huishen? Like, can you tell us about your favorite moment so far? Uh, yeah, okay. So my favorite moment is actually, I don't have an exact moment or something, but maybe I, uh, the weekly session is really very, how to say, uh, like very, I enjoy them a lot uh, because um, I really enjoy the part of listening to other people's music. So like what you said, uh, it doesn't matter how many years of experience you have, one month, one week, um, or even like 10 years, everybody got their own kind of, know their style and when they create something it's like unique to, the, to themselves and what I learned although I came in with experience I actually learned a lot from everyone so it doesn't matter how many exp- years of experience they have uh, I took away some of like quite a lot of things from all of them like um, in terms of technical skill or like creativity everything is just like like um, you just learn from each other and the very the Good thing about the Saturday session is that uh, they are always very inclusive. Uh, so uh, it doesn't matter you are new or old, we can always like, bring you into our our composition or a- any activity that we are like having during that point of time. Yeah. So like for example, Omnibus is although like the junior, we were junior last year, we didn't perform or anything, right? Uh, but I really enjoy like being there to see my seniors perform. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's why. We took the picture at the end. It was very nice. I, I still, didn't see I'm the still picture. waiting for the picture. I'm <laughs> still waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, we really need to go ahead. Yeah, I know. For it. It. Yeah. Mm, but yeah, thank you all so much for sharing that. Yeah, I think, yeah, like, just like, it's, it's testament to like how, like, I mean, how, like, united is a bit cheesy to say, but we are really united as a group. Like, um, I mean, I mean, it's not just because we are the exco and we and we are trying to promote our CCA, but it's also because we genuinely feel like it's a um, it's a very very safe nurturing environment for people to um, learn new things, and it's also something that you don't often get in real life because a lot of electronic music producers or people who do it as a hobby, um, it's only something that you do in solitude. You do it online, and at most, you talk to some people on a message board and you don't even know where they are they are just a username and a profile picture um so eml is very unique in that it provides an actual physical space you have actual real life friends who you can make music with like rather than just like interacting online not that there's no value in that i mean that's how a lot of these communities form in the first place but here in eml we do we offer the like like we offer something that's very unique in that sense that we are actually like we are just we are friends in real life that that we like we we like make music together in a studio. I mean, before COVID and all that, of course. But yeah, um, yeah, that's that's the kind of environment that we have. Um, okay, I think next we can. Yeah, there's still no one in the room, so maybe. Uh, yeah, we'll just go on to like some of the fre- very frequently asked questions. Uh, these are the questions that we get every year, and in fact, I think like some of us probably asked some of these questions when we joined last year. So. Um, one of the very, very common questions that we always get is, are you all DJs? So um, the short answer for this is no, okay? Um, and I will get to the difference between DJing and producing in a while, but um, basically we do, not, uh, we do not do this jockeying, or, which is what DJ stands for, for those who don't know. Um, we, um, yeah, and if you are interested in DJing or turntablism, like hosting a radio show, there are other um, clubs and societies within the NUS community that offer this um, within their program. It's just not what we do. Um, there's, uh, for example, NUS Sync, that's NUS S-Y-N-Q, which is an NUS uh, DJ collective. And some of the other residential halls in NUS also have their own DJ groups. So you can check, this, can check those out. Um, so what a lot, like after we say no, we are not DJs, people always ask after that what's the difference between a producer and a DJ? And this is a very valid question because given today's industry of uh, electronic dance music and all that, oftentimes a music producer is also a DJ and a DJ is also an electronic music producer. But the distinction comes from the fact that a DJ is someone who plays and mixes music together and a DJ may use effects, looping or other techniques to change the sound or structure of the tracks However, they are usually not creating the music that they play, okay? So, um, 
if you go like to like if you like listen to a set from uh, I don't know say uh, Electric Daisy Carnival those kind of um, big international DJ uh, or EDM kind of electronic dance music events, um, usually a DJ would play a set of music that uh, comprises their perhaps their own music but also very much other people's music and all the tracks are kind of already made, and so the art form or the performance comes from the fact comes from the act of mixing from one track to the other. So in EML, what we do is production. So what we focus on is the actual creation of the tracks. Okay, so what we focus on is more of what we do within our software, which is, uh, as we mentioned earlier, Ableton Live. And so we are more interested in composition, in arrangement of a song, uh, in making a song exist in the first place. Because the main distinction is that DJs play tracks that already exist. They're already made already. They're pre-made. But what we do is we focus more on creating the tracks themselves from scratch. So yes, it's uh, to two totally different art forms in that sense. That They do go hand in hand, but there is this distinction that is very important uh, if you're considering joining us as a CCA because we focus on the production side. So now this goes, this brings us to yet another question. This is kind of like a long chain of like related questions that always come after one, one after the other. Okay, if we don't DJ, then how do we perform live? Because there's a live performance aspect. Okay, so now everyone looking at my screen, right? Yeah. Okay, I want you all to look at what I have here. Okay. Ah, Ooh. yeah. Okay, this is, um, for those of you all who don't know, is what's called a MIDI keyboard. Okay, this is an uh, electronic music instrument that sends messages to a computer or to other gear or whatever. And basically, like, sends signals that trigger notes. So what we do is we actually use more of these instruments, like rather than uh, performing in a more DJ style. Okay, um, actually I'm going to head over there and collect uh, one of my other pieces of gear that I can show you. Let's do some uh, waiting music. Okay, so what I have here is basically like this is what's called, uh, I mean, the brand is Novation and it's called a circuit. So this is a beat making machine that I can use to compose and arrange beats on the fly. I don't know if you can hear that through my mic, but it's like producing a beat right now. And then like, I can like uh, change different things about the sound. Yeah, so just very simply put, we perform with instruments rather than with DJ decks. Okay, whether it's more traditional uh, kind of instruments like uh, like a MIDI keyboard here, or with something, perhaps something more modern like this. Uh, this is what we perform with. We, we, use, we use these kinds of instruments to play our music live rather than playing tracks that, uh, rather than playing an MP3 or a WAV file or a CD even, like, um, like a DJ might do. So that's the main distinction. Okay, so yeah, so... Um, so that's, that basically covers like the main bulk of the, the, like the very, very common question that we always get. So yeah, um, so on to uh, perhaps information on membership. Like, shall we talk about that, everyone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, for those of y'all who are interested in joining, uh, do note that, I mean, there are some uh, admission criteria but it's very simple. Basically, you just need to be an NUS student. You need to be enrolled as, a, as an NUS student and we will take, and, and we will basically accept your membership because um, here at EML, uh, we do not hold auditions. We, um, we, and on the bottom line, our take is that we don't need someone to come in with like a pre-existing knowledge. So we do take, we, we do take um, people with uh, like absolutely no experience at all. And we also take, yeah, uh, like you just raised her hand. Yeah, she joined with no experience. Um, and then we also do take people with a lot of experience or anywhere in between. It's a big spectrum of people that we get because um, I think we have really emphasized this quite a lot in this call, but um, what we are more interested in is uh, fostering a community of electronic music makers rather than trying to focus on who is, who is good at this, who is good at that. We are, um, we, we are not so much interested in skill level. We are more interested in passion like the level of passion that someone has. Um, some of our seniors um, actually joined with absolutely zero experience, not even in classical, but right now they have managed, like over the year, the, like the couple of years that they have been in the CCA, they have really picked up a lot of composition skills, sound design skills, 
and they make just the most amazing music, which you can hear at our SoundCloud, which uh, I think the link is somewhere. <laughs> yeah, okay, somewhere uh, here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll post it. Okay, um, all right, so, um, okay, so for those of y'all interested in joining, yeah, that's just it. Like, we, we are just, we do have a form, but um, the form basically asks for all, like, just the general basic details. And also, there's a question on, uh, do you have any prior musical experience? Um, yeah, we like it doesn't matter if you do not have, but um, we just we are just interested in finding out like uh, the profile of the people coming to join us so that we can accommodate our teaching and our lessons uh, and we can work with our tutor then a lot better for these matters. Um, because um, electronic music production, uh, we are not going to lie, it can be a steep learning curve, but um, yeah, like we said, as long as you have the heart to learn it, it it but we are happy to, we are more than happy to guide you along this journey because this is some this is like a completely new form of like musical expression especially to a lot of people who have perhaps previously not had experience with it so we would like to welcome you regardless of your experience like yeah although do like having musical background does of course help but yeah it's just a side note that we have to take um okay so i think i am going to just share a link on the screen yeah like I, I just need to like this is very very impromptu but tinyurl.com dot com slash eml twenty twenty one okay uh yeah so I'm going to just share my screen again on like a text edit document <laughs> okay so um yeah the rest of you can I just check if you all can see. Yep. Yeah. All right. So yeah, this is my. <laughs> it's a really quick URL. Okay, graphic um, design is my passion. Yeah, graphic design is my passion. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But um, basically, this is a very quick URL that leads to our um registration of interest form that is on the NUS Sync portal. So anyone who is interested in, anyone who is interested in uh joining, uh, do visit this link. Yeah, and um, and like basically just uh, you you will have to sign in with your NUS account. Sorry, I should mention that because um, I mean as a NUS registered uh club, we do we are only able to take in NUS students, but um, that's about the only requirement that we have. So do fill that form up if you are interested, and also do feel free to contact us through any of the other um uh, any of our social media channels. Um, I'm just gonna type in here, okay? So we have e music lab. This is our Instagram. And if you're watching this now, uh, I mean, it's on our Facebook. So you likely already know where our Facebook is. Uh, so you can just con like uh, just uh, follow us through there. Um, we are mostly very active on Instagram these days uh, because that's kind of where everyone kind of hangs out. Uh. Yeah. Um, yeah. So do fill up this the form that's at this URL and then do visit our Instagram. And like, you can just drop us a PM or drop us a comment or anything if you have any questions about joining our CCA. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'll just leave this up for a while. Um, okay. Yeah, actually we can just, we'll just, we'll, after, the, after this like chat ends, we'll just drop this in the comment section or in the, we'll just update the description of the Facebook post as well. And all the, and this link is like every pasted everywhere on our Instagram, so it's 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 not is it it uh yeah yeah you won't miss it. So yeah, just do do click the link if you are interested. All right. So okay, yeah. So um, it's been like we actually have still have a kind of like a little bit more time. So um, yeah. Does anyone else want to share about like perhaps what a new member could gain? coming into EML. Just now we shared about our own personal experiences uh, as members of the CCA. Perhaps now we could like share what a new member can expect coming into the CCA. Like uh, what, what's going to be in our lessons, what, what's going to be uh, in, our, um, in our Zoom sessions, that kind of thing. Anyone? Yeah. Okay, I guess I could share. <laughs> okay, what can you expect? All right. So, First and foremost, we will, of course, uh, do our, the first three sessions that we're going to have after Welcome Tea will be our Ableton Live workshops. So those three workshops, by the end of it, you would have been uh, taught by our tutor, Ben, and guided um, through making your first beat. So yeah, already within those three sessions, you would have made your first beat. Okay, but in general, what you're going to be learning is 
what exactly is okay how exactly do you produce music like un to answer the big question and then to break that down you will learn a, a piece of software called digital audio workstation daw which is something that pretty much all the producers today use so like it doesn't matter okay basically think about the music that you listen to whether it's classical or jazz or rock or pop or synth wave or um yeah it doesn't matter what genre it is very likely there was a producer behind it who had to put the audio together in a piece of software and that software is called a digital audio workstation so you're going to learn what exactly that is what it looks like how to use it and in particular like we mentioned quite a number of times in this call that piece of software is uh, that, we, that we are using is Ableton Live but of course if you have experience in other pieces of software you're more than welcome to still join us anyway because we have plenty of members who use other pieces of digital audio workstation as well including our president Iram <laughs> yeah. That's why and, I asked <laughs> yeah. And so yeah. yeah. And um yeah, after that you will learn a bit of um a bit of beat making, a bit of using synthesizers and effects. Mm -hmm. So yeah, in general, so that's like within just the first few sessions. Yeah. And that right there is is a synthesizer, it's a drum machine. So if you have no idea what those things are, don't worry. Uh you you we'll bring you guys up to speed. Yep, and um, that's throughout the first three sessions, once again, just touching on the basics. But of course, throughout your course at EML, we will be going through a whole lot more. Our artistic director, Ben, has a three-year syllabus out. So it's very comprehensive, and it will teach you a lot of things about electronic music production. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully and that answers the question. Oh, yes, Aisha, go ahead. Yeah, and also, like, on top of that, like, there's also there's the teaching of skills. But there is also like fun challenges where we get to apply those skills. So it's not just like lesson, lesson, lessons. Like you're know, just teaching skills. If not, like it's like just school. Like it's it's you know we, we are also like a uh, we are music making group. You know we are an art group. So there's that element of you know like Ben, our artistic director. He will uh, like recently during the uh, break, he gave us um, a summer. What was it? Summer. Summer what? songs summer? challenge. Summer, yeah. songs, summer challenge, songs challenge. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we had to like, um, yeah, like we he he gave us like he he conducted lessons where like we had to do certain uh we like follow certain techniques like on how to finish a song, how to expand our song, how to juice out our songs, um, and then um another one was um like you know we could sample something from our environment and then stretch that out into a song. So like uh like all of us had different sorts of samples, very weird stuff, but like created amazing things. So that's mm. that's another thing that our members can expect as well. It's the application. Very like almost unconventional, unorthodox way of applying those skills that you learn during lessons. Yeah. Uh, Eugene Bushin, anything to share? Yeah. Actually one interesting thing I found about all those challenges is that um it's like how he expanded like Ben expanded for one whole month. So every week you got like uh, first week you got this small small stuff then then subsequently you just extend it to a, a, a full song or something so it's like uh, every stage I like um because you are doing it with someone else right? so so sorry <laughs> so um yeah. you're doing it with a lot of people so like uh, at every stage right people are giving you feedback so it's like if I do it on myself without any challenge right? so it's just like okay I start a song now then um I will take very very long <laughs> So like maybe two months to finish one song because I don't I keep hearing problem with the song. So the good thing about these challenges is actually all these challenges is neither one uh, and it's quite interesting, it's quite fun. Yeah. Actually we have a question in the chat. Um it's about uh whether you get to learn DJ. Um just to reiterate the point that we made earlier, uh the answer for this is no, because um we are that's not the focus of what we do. We are a music production group that focuses on creating music in a software environment. Um, and there, if you're interested in DJing, there's other uh, societies within NUS, like NUS Sync, SYNQ, and some of the residential halls also have their own DJ societies. So I hope that answers the question. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so actually we are about at about time. It's 8.30, so um, I hope like for those of you all who are perhaps watching in the future or perhaps watching the live stream on Facebook and all that, I uh, hope you all have had a fruitful time. Uh, if you do have any questions, do just shoot us uh, an, uh, a message or a PM or anything and we will get back to you. 
um, we really do hope to see you at our upcoming uh, events. We have a welcome party, online welcome party that's slated for the, uh, the 24th of uh, August at 8 p.m. And following that is when our regular sessions, which will start with our orientation and then the basic Ableton Live workshop. It will happen on the 29th of August and the 5th of September, the 12th of September and the 19th of September. So it's basically four consecutive Saturdays. Then following that, it will be just uh, our most our routine sessions and all that, which will be every Saturday. Yeah. Okay, so thank you all so much. I think we can all just do a one big wave, then we'll cut the stream Yay. off. Yeah, okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Mm. Okay.